Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to mix dark brown henna. It's a two-step process. So the first process is mixing your pure henna, which is this lighter green powder right here. And the second process is mixing the dark brown powder, which is this darker green powder right here. Alright, so we start with the pure henna. You can mix it with coffee or water. In this case, we're going to use coffee because it helps to darken and enrich the color of the henna. So what you want to do, you want to add the coffee gradually because you don't want to make the paste too runny. You just start mixing until it forms a little paste of cake batter consistency. You're going to need a lot more coffee than that. And when you're mixing, it's important to remember to not use any metallic bowls or spoons. Just use plastic ones. I'm using a fork because that's all I had available right now, but that should be fine. We need a lot more coffee. And you're going to keep mixing until there's no more lumps. And you're you're going to have to be patient with it, but don't worry. It'll be worth it in the end. Henna has like a pretty strong nature smell, so what you can do, you can always add a drop or two of your favorite essential oil. We recommend using our lavender essential oil, but whatever scent you like best is perfectly fine. Alright, so this is what the henna will look like once it's properly mixed. You see it is a cake batter consistency. It's not too thin and not too thick. Just right. So once you're done mixing, you will let this sit out. You're going to cover it first and then you're going to let it sit out for about 8 to 10 hours before you apply it. And this is what it should look like once it's been left to activate. So it's darkened a little bit. You can see it's like a slightly more reddish brown color. You see that. Still has its consistency. Still good. So after it's done activating, you're going to apply this to your hair for two to three hours, and then you're going to rinse out with cold water until the water runs clear. Okay, so on to the second step. This is the dark brown henna, and it's basically the same process as the pure henna. You're going to start mixing the coffee into the brown henna. Get a decent amount in there. And again, you just want to get it to a cake batter consistency. Don't want any lumps. And it's going to start turning into this beautiful green paste. Need some more coffee. with it until it starts to get to that cake batter consistency.
Ashby. This is what it looks like once it's activated. See. You will get this darker color, and that's how you know it's been activated. Let's stir it up a little bit. And then you'll see the green underneath, and that's normal. So just give it a little stir and then you'll apply it to your hair and leave it on for two to three hours. So this is what your pure henna will look like after it's been mixed and left out for eight to ten hours. And this is what your dark brown powder will look like after being left out for 30 minutes. So again, just a reminder of the times. So you leave the pure henna out for eight to ten hours to activate. And then when you apply it to your hair, you leave it on your hair for two to three hours. And for your dark brown, you only leave it out for 30 minutes before applying to your hair, and then you leave it on for another two to three hours. You should get some beautiful dark brown hair.